prior to commencement of the CBO, it is recommended that the student review the indications, contraindications, and complications associated with tracheobronchial suctioning of the adult patient. The hazards and complications are many and varied. They should be titrated according to the condition of the patient and the situation in which the CBO is being challenged. Locate the equipment. Use professionalism and aseptic technique throughout the procedure. Ensure that hands are thoroughly washed at a sink or with an approved alcohol-based hand product prior to the commencement of the procedure and the donning of gloves. Identify the patient, yourself, the department that you represent, and your role as a respiratory therapy student at NBCC St. John. After explaining the procedure to the patient appropriate to their level of understanding, look, listen, and feel to confirm the need for suctioning. Collect and assemble the needed equipment, including the appropriate style of catheter, the appropriate size of catheter, and the appropriate labeling associated with the local policy and procedure. Ensure equipment is assembled in a sterile fashion and that any humidification or auxiliary devices are located properly. Set the suction level to minus 140 millimeters of mercury in a dynamic fashion and position the patient appropriately, generally in a semi-fowler position. Ensure that pre-oxygenation of the patient occurs and that this occurs for a minimum time of at least one minute with appropriate response of saturations. Insert the catheter and then gently withdraw the catheter applying suction as you withdraw. Monitor the patient during the procedure on both the ventilator and the bedside monitor. Repeat as needed based upon your prior assessment. Assess the patient as needed while the procedure is being repeated. Conclude the procedure and document according to the site policy and procedure. Notify other personnel as appropriate, including the preceptor to whom you are assigned. Close suctioning is a skill that comes with practice. It's partly based on patient assessment based on monitoring of both mechanical ventilators and bedside monitors for expected and unexpected physiological responses and repeated practice with the equipment through assembly and actual procedures that will make you proficient in this skill.